of insert burger pun i am tier j i'm mike <laughs> that was quiet that was so quiet and he's mike um and we are doing a podcast about bob's burgers which is a show that we both love so much and we got a new season yeah. season 10 you are dragging me it's down. not a it's not a um, it's not a healthy relationship with the show for me anyway i don't think yeah yeah well, I think it's all or nothing, you know, either I'm watching it five hours a day or I don't want to watch it at all or I don't like the new episodes at all. But that's not necessarily true. We got another new episode. This is the second episode of season 10. What's it called? It is called Boys Just Want to Have Fun Guess. OK. And if you don't know what that's a play off of, I don't know if we can be friends anymore. I think everybody. Yeah. What is it? It's that song. By that who? one hit wonder. What? Cindy Lauper. Yeah, she's not a one-hit wonder. Uh, kind of. What? Well, that song time is so. Time after time. That's a, oh, really? That's her? Why did I think that was TLC? All through the night. I hate time after time. That's wow. like one of my all-time least favorite fucking songs. <gasps> I fucking hate that song. Girls just want to have fun though. It's fine. It's a good one. It's bouncy. Did you see Anomalisa where they did the Italian cover of Boys Just Want or Girls Just Want to Have Fun? I didn't. It's pretty good. We'll it's sad to it. though. It's sad. Now we have something. To what's do that? Act, what's her name? That actress who was in like two or three movies that year. Who? She Jennifer Jason Lee. There you Is go. Is that her name? Because she was know. in Hateful Eight. She was in Hateful Eight and also Anomalisa that year, and I think she won for one of those movies. I haven't seen either of those movies. You didn't see Hateful Eight? Isn't that the one that they're in the desert? No. No. Mountains. Mountains. Snow. It's all in one house. What was the one that they were in? Tarantino movie. And they were like cowboys. Huh. Whatever. That could be a lot of them. Django? No, no, no. I've seen that. Okay. Anyway. (laughs) We got a brand new season. We watched the first episode. That one was okay. Yeah, go ahead and listen to our cool... I think we had a solid like 20 minutes of predictions for the movie and the new season yeah. in the last episode. So if you want to see that stuff, go ahead. But uh, yeah, so now we're really into it. So I think some of my predictions are already false and wrong, but we'll get to There's that. There's still time. There's we'll get to that later. Season. This is episode two. That's right. They do, what, 20 episodes a season or so? Feels like Something it. like that? Yeah, I think a lot of animated shows do. Okay uh so yes yeah, so we watched it we might even clip in we might even cut in some of our initial impressions of the episode because we tried to record those <laughs> yeah but we don't want we don't um, want the censor police to come after but us. it was mostly quiet i feel like we were mostly quiet i did do a laugh count so we can bring back the okay. very popular segment laugh track <laughs> but um we'll get to that after we do a little commentary All right. of the episode so, uh, yeah, if you want to watch along with us, we will be starting it up soon. Are you going to yeah. you want to do the down. countdown? Don't, don't yeah. you worry. Go for it. Here we go, everybody. Oh, gosh. i got to find my mouse. Okay. Oh, no. What did I do? Oh, no, I didn't do anything. Okay. So we are going to count it down <clears throat> in three, two, one, go. Cool. New intro. This one took us a while to know. Okay, so it is now it looks Wine like Country marriage marriage counseling. Marriage counseling. It was Mice harder to see. Exterminators. Okay, all right. Okay, Even I the mean, open sign was two rings. That marriage was that was nice. Marriage counseling with wine could work, right? Yeah, because they would get drunk and then talk about their problems. You could be more honest. Yeah. So they're at a farmers market. In a, I was saying that they live in such a prime location because the Wonder Wharf is right there, which means they're they're down the street from their home. Which That's means right. that they just had to walk right outside. But then that made me remember that I also live walking distance from a farmer's market. Uh, so maybe yeah, I need to capitalize Maybe you need to take advantage of that, right? Okay. I'd... Mushrooms. Do you go to farmer's markets ever? Um, I haven't been to a farmer's market for a long time. I think in Silver Echo Park there was a nice one. Uh, and in Boston, they had a cool one, but yeah, not for a while. You should. I yeah, guess. The one in Burbank yeah. is pretty cute. It's, it's 
small, but they have like fresh eggs and things like that. Oh. Uh. Definitely not thirty dollars an ounce mushrooms like these blue ones. Right. That look like they would take you on a nice trip. Yeah. Did we look? I guess are these real mushrooms? I, I feel like Should we not. look them up? We'll look them up later. Yeah. That'll Maybe be that can be a reference referee of some kind. Yeah. Even if it's not really a reference. Uh. Okay. Guy, very helpful. Yeah. Guy. <laughs> it's very misleading because this guy is so helpful from the beginning. Right. He literally is telling them where to get these mushrooms oh. so they don't have to buy them from him for $30 an ounce, which doesn't make much sense as a, you know, as a seller. What is that Sure. Called? If you're not the what? consumer, you're the what? I mean, a seller. What? Seller? What? Merchant? I don't know what else. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I thought there, a was, trader. A, I thought there was more of a business <laughs> term. Uh, proprietor, entrepreneur. Nice. <laughs> So this is what the ladies are up to, male. Oh, Lord. Here's the B-plot, everybody. Oh, they got a good Strap one for in. us today. Strap in. <laughs> it's a roller coaster ride. I think it's targeted <laughs> towards people who wear glasses, like us. You more yes, than me. Yes, I wear glasses more than you. You're yeah. wearing glasses right now. I, have, I am worth more glasses than glasses. I like this little, um, this little nod that she says i couldn't see clearly now and then she looks out the window and goes oh the rain is gone ha 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 it's funny they did a great job is that sign ever actually turned on the neon burgers well, it's sign always daytime. but they're not open at night so so why is it there <laughs> maybe it's like maybe it's like a crispy cream where they only light it when a burger's ready a burger's hot and ready i'm sure we would have noticed Maybe if like super something super special happens, like Guy Fieri comes in, and they're like, ba, 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 ba. "Ooh, a Guy That's Fieri tie-in episode!" Oh, <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> that could be great! Wow. Okay, all right. So yes, Bob and Jean are gonna go look for mushrooms. They're yes. gonna go do some mushroom foraging. Yes, he got a little basket. It's cute, and he's trying to convince the rest of the family to go with them, but it doesn't sound very attractive. <laughs> Even though I think that Tina would want to go because now that she's able to see, wouldn't she want to go out there and help him out? Yeah, right. she could she be could like, be Dad, I can spot these from a mile away. Is that Hawkeye's power that he can see things? I don't know. What's his power? I mean, he doesn't have any powers. Is that he's just that's the joke? Trained. Huh? He's super trained, like oh. Black Widow kind of, but he's really good at he's shooting like an arrows. IT and assistant. Has good eyesight. Oh, okay. So okay, yeah. So Overall, that, my least favorite Avengers, but that's fine. We don't need to talk about it anymore. So the sure. girl said, "No, they're off to go mushroom hunting." Yeah. And find prime parking. Yeah, which, by the way, is a whole. Th I watched a video, a whole video on mushroom foraging. Did you? A while ago, kind of by accident. Oh. Um, from a different show that I won't mention here, but hey. no, it's it's. I don't know. People do get very into it. Perfect. Kind of like bird watching a little Good. bit, so like generally an older audience. But you'll notice, uh, not with this lady, but with the other foragers, they're carrying uh, mesh bags yeah. because then the spores from the mushrooms as they're walking can fall out and create more mushrooms. Aww. It's sort of a fertilization thing. So That's it's just like good. a, it's an etiquette thing. You I'm know? excited to learn more because you're definitely going to have to tell me more about mushrooms. That's foraging. kind of everything I know. I mean, yeah, some of them are worth a lot of money. And um, where do the magic mushrooms grow? And this isn't like a, a drug talk. I'm just curious because I was trying to talk to someone about it. Well, and someone had told me they that they're, they're, they grow naturally in like Northern California. Is that true? That sounds, that sounds right. Or um, I thought you told me that. <laughs> well, I mean, that's where I get mine. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whatever. Um, yeah, I guess you can, yeah, you can grow them too. I don't know. I was never into mushrooms, even as a either either as just like a plant or as a food. I don't like the texture, you know. I'm new to yeah. I'm new to liking mushrooms. Yeah, it's not really my bag. Not really my bag of mushrooms. Not your, bag. Not your mesh bag. <clears throat> not my mushroom bag. Yeah. So here they are running into two new people. Okay, so they're called Wooly Neptunes. The the the, the special mushroom that Bob wants. Yeah, yes. it's it's blue. Okay. And so here's two new guys, and the one's in the vest and a bucket hat, which that's I right. that would be me. I think I would the outfit that I would wear. Okay, that's fair. Some cargo pants, mm -hmm. some zip off pants there. 
The same shoes. Look at that. Those must be like the official, friends. the official mushroom hunting shoes. Good yeah. Connection. Can we call it mushroom <clears throat> hunting when the mushrooms can't go anywhere? Hunt. Yeah, I mean foraging. We'll you just know. call it that. We'll call it I know, is. but I just like the image of mushrooms trying to run away when you go and find them, right? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so I like that they are just being assholes. They're not telling them the right place to go. Or they're just like making up some, some place for them to go. Right, and yeah. they believe them. And it's very, yeah, it's very obvious that these are not good mushroom guys. But Bob doesn't seem to have that, that skill to read people. I <laughs> well, guess. Well, they're doing the thing where they're like, "Well, good luck," and then they, under their breath, they're like, "Oh, you okay, guys are gonna right. not find anything," and then they right. turn around and go, "What?" <clears throat> and they're like, "Nothing. Yeah. Have fun." Right. So that was cute. Very nice. Very nice stuff. But in their defense, and I'll say it, in their defense, I think that they've had so much luck with people helping them. Like, they had the guy at the farmer's market. They had the woman who gave the off spray. So they're looking around. Okay, okay. Why would now you I... let your son go out there in shorts like that? Poison ivy, no? Yeah, or uh, ticks, right? Some, yeah. Ticks. Um, I have some tick stories. <laughs> we'll talk about that. Will we? Yeah. I don't have to. Here's my, okay. Here's my moment of critique. I don't know if this is necessarily like a review show, but here's my thing about this plot, okay? So if you're writing a TV show, specifically a comedy cartoon show like Bob's Burgers, shouldn't the basis of the plot be like, oh, this will be either entertaining or funny or both to mm -hmm. our viewers? Yes. Who gives a shit about the mushroom plot? It's not interesting. It's not funny. And then it's over what what is that <laughs> like, it's, what, them, it's them getting did they outside. did they think that i don't know that it was rife with jokes like where's the potential you know I what think, i'm saying i think they put a lot of pressure on gene this episode gene really is cool. gene's supposed to be like is right. it supposed to be like a growth episode like look he's kind of competent i guess that's where they wind up at the end is like he can kind of do things i guess yeah. sometimes by being weird i i don't know it's it's so little. <laughs> They're doing the glasses switcheroo. They're doing we'll the glasses. We'll talk about the overall. Which is fun. To it. Which and this is kind of neat from a visual. Per well, it's it's over now. The interesting part, but a visual perspective, of like oh, we're gonna change the character models because cartoon shows they never you know they never yeah. look different. They're always in the exact same clothes. That's kind of fun. Even I think that just... was also an accurate like a family. Yeah, a happens. nice little like moment, when, right? Back sure. Back when I didn't have glasses, and my mom and Tiesin's got glasses, right? I would, we would definitely You'd try them on yes, and switcheroo. Yeah, sure. Headache, just like she said. Yeah, no, that's it's a nice little sequence. And I think I know. I, I feel like this is a mix of Louise being like messing with her, but also being nice. Kind of. Well, she's like playing into this. Tina thinks that she could see a little bit better. And... Right. Louise is trying to say that is like, oh yeah, Tina, you have a superpower because you can see well. Because you have glasses, new glasses. Yeah. Right. But, but well, there's a twist, isn't there? And it's not for so nice reasons. But we'll get there. I don't think Louise is trying to be nice. I think it's cute, though. I think so. it's accidental nice, you know? <laughs> like, incidental kindness. Somebody <laughs> dropped a tree here. Probably God. Oh, deep. So deep. Deep. Put it on a, a shirt, a t-shirt, or a button. Would you go over or under the log? almost definitely over right i don't know yeah who wants to crawl on the ground it would make me feel like i was on a spartan race especially in shorts like I mean, his geez. knees have got to be destroyed now right he loves it so here's the bird so that I, was bird. Saying, I was like don't you think it's the bird from the episode before i think the He's bird the ring. yeah the bird is going to be a visual through line for the season you think so That'd be kind of no, cute. No, I mean, I hope so, but there's no way. <laughs> I don't think they go in for those kinds of shenanigans. We find out that the whole show has been from the perspective of the birds. Except they've it hasn't. Every, they've been there for every episode. Hmm. If we had more bird's eye view shots in the show, I guess that would make sense. But, yeah. Oh, well. Because you know what? It's an ordinary bird. It's not like a show-offy bird. Oh. So it's representative of the characters in the show. So they fell down on a hill... It is a scene from Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring, remember? And they find the mushrooms. When Merry and Pippin tumble down the hill, and then they're like, mushrooms, <laughs> we gotta pick them up. And then they pick them up, and Sam and Frodo are like, 
Oh no, some more serious stuff is happening over here. Remember? They're getting ready for Santa The Nazgul Christmas. rider guys. So they found it. They're doing the white thing where they like celebrate prematurely. <laughs> which I think is quite interesting. Um, okay. <laughs> That's what happens, I'm telling you. In what situation? Any. I'm trying to think of... Any movie. I'm trying to think show. of... Oh, in, in media. Oh, yeah. Yes, oh, yes, yes. well, that's... Okay. It's very different. Oh, look. It's the bad guys. It's the bad mushroom guys. Yes. And they're literally yelling at them for them to come over because they found the super expensive mushrooms. Right. Who in their right mind does that? And also, why were they also still still so close together it's, right. it's the woods <laughs> I know. they walked they for a long them, time yeah they sent them in a really odd direction so it's weird for them to be anywhere within earshot and like really close they show up in like no time at all it's crazy yeah. wow <sighs> well when uh, mushrooms you come a running for the the right mushrooms i'd like to go to the woods so they're putting together that they, that those guys are not as nice as they think. That's right. This bum, other bum, bum. this other random mushroom lady's like, nah, those guys are bad guys. Those you were dumb. News. You were dumb for not noticing. The carrots. Wild carrots have to happen somewhere, right? Absolutely. Because that's how we found carrots. I don't think carrots can be tamed, but. What is it like? Even potatoes like weren't native to North America. Am I? Do I have that right? That sounds and right. horses, right? Horses had to be brought over. I feel like a lot of things aren't native to California or to the U.S. Yeah, America. a lot is European stuff brought over. Yeah. Okay. So she's helping them get all the mushrooms That's so right. that she, they can hide. It looks like she's doing this smart woodsy thing where you put your socks over the bottom of your pants so that nothing, no creepy crawlers can get in there. Yeah. So Tina's using her powers for butt looking, which I can understand. <sighs> You're so mean. <laughs> no, I don't think that's the word. I mean, but are they, at some point are they going to address the fact that she's like a creep and that she's not? No. Doing stuff. It's her budding sexuality. Okay, her butting. Budding sexuality. Oh. oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. And they use the word nefarious, which good job, would guys. would you eat uh, fried pizza balls? Fried pizza balls. Yeah. So the cheese has got to be, the cheese and the sauce has to be on the inside, yes. right? Okay. So would the outside taste like funnel cake because it's just dough? No. You know what would that taste Maybe like? Maybe I'm picturing it like with the dough on the outside, but then they also put like Parmesan cheese, like like crunched. dusted. Yeah. Okay. And then you I've dip never it into had mozzarella um, sauce. Oh, okay. So just like breadsticks, kind of. But in a ball with <laughs> like pepperoni and cheese. In a ball and deep fried. I know that um, in in Scotland they do deep fried pizza. Well, let's go. Um, I mean, I'll go, go but but not specifically for that. Look at these two people with just sunglasses on. Yeah, what the fuck is that? Um, They look weird with those on. I always wanted to go to the Garden of Cosmic Contemplate. What's it called? The Garden of Cosmic Contemplation? I don't know, but it sounds like you have to eat a bunch of wooly... What were they called? (laughs) What? Wooly what? What were the mushrooms called? Oh, I don't remember at all. Wooly something. Wooly you know, guys. There goes that joke. Wooly boys. I was trying to say that you, it sounds like you need to take mushrooms or eat mushrooms to go there. Oh, I see. I'm so funny. Um, and so Linda just shat on Tina's dream of having supervision by saying, I can see over there too. Right. Uh, which ends the B plot, which is which just started like yes. a couple minutes ago. And Teddy ran across. And the now street it's over. <laughs> without finishing his burger, how often do you think that he eats at Jimmy Pesto's? Uh, it's maybe like his monthly splurge or okay. something. It's his special treat. Because uh, we know he goes other places too. Because we didn't we see him at that other burger restaurant the yeah. one time, like the fancy one. Yes. He gets around, you know. He'll die very soon, but he, he gets That's around. His heart. Lots of burgers and such. He loves too much. I like that Bob's jacket is just like the most basic. Just, yeah, no hood. Just nothing, just a thing. Wooly Neptunes. That's what they're called. Wooly Neptunes. Okay. So not only do they come out of the log, they come out of the log with the basket of mushrooms. Right. Would you leave it in the in the log? 
I would leave Gene in the log with the mushrooms and be like, hey, back off and I have nothing and get away from me yeah. and yeah maybe put them in his hood yeah if they don't have a backpack because they didn't think bringing a backpack was fun could they threaten the bad men with like hey I have a phone and I maybe have service you know yeah could that have worked or maybe my son is going to tell on you yeah or even just like Anything. This is not something you do to people. Like this is weirdly, you know. That's what I was saying that this, if this was in Bob's Burgers, <laughs> this could quickly turn into a murder plot. Yeah. Where like they are chasing them to kill them for yeah. the mushrooms. I yeah, it's very strange. Good thing this is a family friendly show. It's a family friendly show, so don't worry. It'll be really boring, and, and nothing cheese. will happen. The Jean's, cheese, Jean's cheesy hands. The on one the, on the rock. The one cheese rock helped them find their way back, even though the log could have the fallen tree could have just been their landmark yeah, but right the, but the cheese is supposed to come it's supposed to be well-rounded and show us that gene did something right he's useful and by, here goes by Bob accident without his car keys his little burger keychain that's nice cute, the burger key that's key nice yeah well oh it's so exciting so they took a shortcut yeah okay we'll and so teams. now double cross Whoa. She's with the bad guys, which is so disappointing. She could have been a cool gal. Why? She could have been a really nice gal. And yeah. It, I think it would have been kind of cool that she stuck up for them and was like, hey, guys, you guys are assholes. But no. But also, here's another thing. This was she didn't have a plan to stop them. She just helped them out. And then by accident was like, oh, now I have a bargaining chip, Bob's yeah. Keys. So... If that just hadn't happened, they're fine, and she did nothing to stop them or get any mushrooms. Well, I think she realized after the, she had the keys that she didn't have to do much. Like, she knew that they couldn't leave. But why not this? Why not when they were first finding them and she showed up? Why wasn't she just like, hey, can I have some? Like, can I just grab, like, you know, like, look, I'm being nice. I'm telling you that yeah, the other guys are bad. You and then she could have bargained, yeah, and pit them against them and been like oh look how nice i am give me some mushrooms yeah that would have been fine i don't know she's now it's like that um that movie shallow grave if you've ever seen it it's an old danny boyle one with ewan mcgregor when he was like a baby his long hair it's really good they end up with a bunch of money and they're like oh now who's gonna get it you know like one guy's gonna take it maybe oh it's a good one you know, oh, oh. So they're going to take the mushrooms. They're trying to take all of them. Look, they're just they're fighting over wrestling them. for the, oh, there they and go. And now you've got Some over. doucher Some in a Jeep or a G-Wagon yes. <laughs> just kind of rolled over. How funny over. would it have been if it was a, a yellow Hummer, mm-hmm. if it was that guy from the, the bank episode? Ah. Uh, also, are those maybe mushrooms still usable? Like, well, no, can't you just rinse them off? Squished them. So what? They're, they're flattened. Chop them up, dice them up, rinse them off, you know. I don't know. Is that know. how mushrooms work? Why not? Like, who cares if they have a little bit of dirt on them? You know, oh. it's fine. It's all right. So Linda's trying to cheer her up when she literally just crushed her dreams. Of right. course, I don't think she was in on the on the plan. And she was, on no, she on. wasn't. Yeah, she was not in on but it. But now she's singing. Right. Yeah. Oh, I'm tickling her. Another classic song. <laughs> yeah. She's telling her that she has a superpower. What is it? Being the best 13-year-old daughter there is. Oh. Isn't that sweet? But then what happens when Louise turns 13? Then she'll have a new superpower. Okay. Also, what I'm what happened to Teddy's tongue that he has ice on it? Did we even know that? What's up? Oh, he probably burned it on the pizza rolls. Or the pizza fried... Deep fried pizza. Uh, Maybe that's what this was. You know, giving oh, some slight redemption. It's kind of a okay, but he was kind of redeemed at the end of that, right? That I episode, mean, the best burger one. Kind of. Well, there it is. There's the episode ending there with that is. Super Tina song. Yep. Oh, she's got her outfit. Yep. Do you think she'll ever grow her her hair out that long? Uh, a lot of her fantasies happen with that long hair. That's true. Maybe it's like a Wonder Woman kind of imagery thing, yes. right? I mean, those boots. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's spinning. Oh. Wow. Do you think either Jean or Louise will need glasses later on in life? Uh, sure. 
<laughs> These are the deep questions that we talk about on Insert Burger. Program. Well, I this guess why, Tina reads a lot. Here. I guess Tina like reads and writes a lot, so mean? maybe that's why she needs glasses. So, so they don't. Louise and Jean don't really do that stuff as much, that's right? That's true. All right, guys. So that was the first. Oh no, that was the second episode of season ten. That's right. Um, we're gonna take a quick break, and then when we're, when we come back, we're just gonna talk some more and give our opinions and talk about other things yeah lots of other things yeah okay cool all right brb you guys enjoy this message from our sponsors shout out to my reptilian brain for just knowing what my dice were oh. as if i heard this whole apartment this is me now oh i don't know how these work though it's an air fryer. Oh, fun! I got yeah. red crops. Ah. This is me now! Man, Teddy is how I feel whenever people are over at my house. <laughs> I'm like, what do you need? Speaking of which, are you hungry? Do you need anything? This is me now! And they're gorgeous. Like, these gorgeous right. girls. And I was just like, oh my god, like, I could still be pretty and have braces. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I guess we're back now, huh? Yeah, we're back. I'd say so. Yeah. We're back. How was that break, everybody? I know I had fun. Yeah, it was pretty <laughs> exciting. So, uh, go, oh yeah, gosh, that episode that we watched wasn't Riveting. it? Wasn't it something? I thought it was kind of cute. Um, this is for this is our quick first impressions, and then we'll get to some other stuff. But yeah, I don't know. You go ahead. You thought it was kind of cute? Yeah, quick first impressions. I thought it was refreshing. I feel like I said in the last episode that I wanted to see more Gene, hmm. Bob stuff. Yeah, and that's what we got. Yeah. Um, it could even you could even say it's a callback to when Bob was like, "We need to go on more walks," and then Jean says, "We're not really gonna go on walks, are we, Dad?" Right. And they did out in the forest together. Um, I do think it was a little dangerous at points. It could have turned. It could have took a turn for the worse, but it didn't. Thank goodness. Um, but yeah, they didn't do much with the B plot, which was kind of upsetting. They had three plus Teddy, so four whole characters that they could have done something with. Right. But they did not. They decided to just do this glasses plot. But it's also relatable, I think. Um, and kind of brings us back to the older school of Bob's Burgers where the plot is just around real life things like getting new glasses. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That part was. The mushroom part was not. Yeah. yeah a little out there. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, 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 I. We just watched the episode twice, and I already find myself forgetting what happened. I mean, I guess I know the plot, but I can't imagine, like, sitting down on some snowy Thursday afternoon and being like, oh, yeah, I want to watch that one again. Mm -hmm. Like, it was so funny. Yeah. Well, I think um, it's, uh, it could have been even more fun if, at least at the end, Bob made the burger that he wanted to make. Right. Because then that. there would have been a point, I exactly. guess. Exactly. Or even tasted it. Because mm -hmm. wouldn't it have been kind of funny if, like, oh, it was such a pain and, like, we almost didn't get these mushrooms. And then at the end, they were like, oh, they taste awful. Yeah. Um, even though I guess Bob said that he tried them before at the beginning. But who cares? The palate changes. Or a what a twist. What if they actually were poisonous and fake good mushrooms, you know? Oh, boy. Oh, that could have been interesting. Um. All right. It's enough. For, yeah, that, I'm good on first impressions there. I have. <laughs> I have enough. This. I guess. Okay. I'll. I'll go ahead and cut in some of our initial reactions, which might just be mostly like listening sounds for me. Oh yeah. And like grunts. Here, let's take a listen. I mean, that sounds just like your normal life and normal interactions with people. Grunts and listening sounds. Mm -hmm. No, no, yeah. Oh, uh, mm, uh, uh, yep. Uh, oh, mm. I don't think we're doing a side character showcase this episode. No, but I do think it would be really fun, real fast, just to, um, like, they, first off, we don't even, they never even tell us their names, the mushroom hunters people. Do they not, or were we just not paying no, attention? No, they don't. I okay, it no names. All but right. But the the voices are people from Reno nine one one, which is cool. Oh, but aren't they also just people from Bob's? Yeah. A lot? So he, yeah. Wrote, um, one of them was the voice of like Critter and yeah. Um, who else? Somebody else. 
they've done everything. Isn't like hip hop ladies, and she also um, the lady from the mud flap and yes. everyone else. Yeah, they all do incidental voices. There's no fun guest stars <laughs> in this one, as far as I know. Um, but yeah, I don't think we need to. So no side character showcase. But um, but what else would we like to talk about? Um, what other fun things about this episode should we really... I like the burger of the day was the red or the hunt for the red onion tober burger oh yeah burger or fries our famous segment this is the burger at hand and I guess it's just a burger with red onion on it which I would eat I guess oh what if because that's a submarine movie what if it was on a sub roll is it a submarine movie hunt for red October oh. almost definitely okay. right I don't think so with um What's his name? Former James Bond, the first James Bond. All I can think about is Indiana Jones' the, dad. Um, the movie with Jake Gyllenhaal with the rocket ships, but that's wrong, right? What is that? What one is that? Where he with Laura Dern. What, What's that one called? What I don't know. What's that movie called? October Sky. Oh, that's that movie I'm thinking. Okay, of. gotcha. Yeah, I don't think I've seen Hunt for Red October then. Yeah. But yeah, that'd be kind of um, cute. They would have to, how would they fit a patty on a sub roll? Well, they could like trim it down, I guess, or. Like a McRib type of situation. Yeah, they could, you know, you could make a patty whatever shape you want, I guess. You could stretch it out. Um, I mean, it sounds fine. Yeah, I'm down, I guess. I don't know. I think we our answers are, all, are always just based on the one special ingredient. Well, that's and this what ingredient, makes it spe- the burger yeah, of the day. But this is, ingredient isn't special at all. So, yeah. That's so, okay. I guess. They, they have some where they're super extravagant and some that they're very simple. Very toned down. Well, I guess he's gearing up for the fancy mushroom burger exactly. with the space mushrooms on it. So, And if you look at the price, it was five ninety five. So, it's not like it was a super expensive burger of the day. Aren't they all five ninety five? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, sure. Why not? You know. Um, it sounds fine. So I get the burger and then also some fries, but yeah, I'm I'm good with the burger on that one. Cool, order up, <laughs> ding. Um, what's the next thing that we need to talk about? Um, we could talk about uh, mushroom foraging. Mushroom foraging. This is um, mushroom forage ever. <laughs> what do you know what you're trying to do? I'm trying to think of a pun with mushrooms yeah. and and talking about them i looked this up and it said the rare european white truffle is the world's most expensive mushroom oh. with a price tag that can exceed uh 2200 euros per pound wow right? so, wow you need a pig so you can see why it that it could have turned dangerous for bob and gene because yeah. think about it from the mushroom foragers perspective that these two this father and son come out, no experience. They've, they spent a solid 20 minutes on the internet looking stuff up. Right. And they stumble upon literally a gold mine of these mushrooms that are rare and expensive. And I'm sure they've come out a mul- like multiple times, come up empty handed or just get regular mushrooms. Yeah. How easy would it have been to just steal from these people who don't know, you know, left from right? Yeah. But also. <sighs> Wouldn't it be nice if they just didn't, you know? Yeah. Shouldn't they be excited that someone new is getting into their hobby that no one cares about, you know? Uh, I mean, their their wallets care about it. But what if they had a nice community? You know, maybe this is, I think this sure. is bad-mouthing mushroom foresters. I'm sure that they all, there's a message <laughs> We know there. that at least 80% of our audience are mushroom foragers themselves, and, and we would never slander the community in that way. I'm, I'm sure they mostly just go out for beers and have a nice time and... If they don't find well, anything, yeah. they don't care because they're maybe smoking a little something or uh, eating, eating a little something. Yeah, something I think like that. I, I, it could have ended. This episode could have ended with them having new friends. You know, that's could have I mean, where they had to take this turn of making them all bad. Right. When they the start of their interactions with people who are in the mushroom industry are people who are nice, like that guy from the farmers market. Right. Like he if was, he was yeah, an asshole too, maybe nice. I would understand, but. All of a sudden, all of the mushroom people are are dicks, except for that guy from the farmers market. Where was right. he? He was like neutral good, or is that a is that an alignment? I don't think so, but sure. <laughs> lawful? He's not lawful good. He was neutral neutral. <laughs> right there in the middle. Of it was just like okay, yeah. If you feel like going and getting your own mushrooms, whatever, that's fine. Um, 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, much, yeah, Mushroom Forging is a whole thing. And I know it's pretty big in, like, I think it's big in, like, um, I want to say, like, Minnesota, maybe Michigan. I, I, I'm forgetting already that video I watched about oh, yeah, it. Yeah, you did watch the video. Oh, uh, yeah. But, um, uh, yeah, you know, it's a little niche community. And, and it makes more sense in places where you can find a bunch of different mushrooms. Mm -hmm. I don't know that out here we have many super good places to go to look for them. Mm -hmm. You know, it has to be super woodsy and kind of wet, a I would assume. A lot of the uh, mushroom information that I've looked up has been very not in the u.s oh so like there's the yartsa gunbu yartsa <laughs> oh i like it two thousand dollars per ounce oh wow right? very fancy yeah it's a long and thin mushroom it kind of looks like a ginger root or oh. like a caterpillar it kind of looks like a a caterpillar oh neat that's gross yeah um european white truffle three thousand six hundred per pound Wow. Well, a pound is also a lot. Mm -hmm. So, you know, maybe you can get some for just a cool 700 bucks. <laughs> One mushroom for 700 bucks. They're on the black market. Meaning what? That is, they're, does that it just they're say scared. it's on the black market? It says that they're so scarce that a black market for them has oh, emerged. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Truffle thieves. Oh, who steal, <laughs> how exciting. Who steal the extraordinary truffles using truffle sniffing dogs. This I is thought an industry... pigs. I thought pigs found truffles. Remember, pigs do what they want. Oh, okay. I want a teacup pig. You know, teacup. Everybody pigs. wants a teacup teacup pig. <laughs> yeah. Everybody great. wants one yeah. until they get too big, and then they get rid of them, and it's sad. Well, yeah. No. <laughs> you sell it off to slaughter or something. I don't know. Jesus. Or something. What? Are you, where do you think it goes? You know, in your home. If you make that commitment to having a teacup pig, nah. then you gotta keep it. Nah. It's like babe. It's like Babe. Remember Babe? Yes. Wow. You know who directed the second Babe movie? Babe in the City? Yeah. Nope. George Miller. Wow. You know what he directed? Nope. All the Mad Max movies. Oh, wow. You know what else he directed? What? Happy Feet. Okay. He's all over the place. <laughs> He's a madman. Man, get you a guy who can do He's all He's a Mad that. Max man. He's wow. crazy. Um, yeah. Well, okay. That's Mushroom for mushroom farming. Talk. Mushroom talk is all wrapped up and put in a nice mesh bag. <laughs> Postpocalypse, this is where we talk about Bob's Burgers characters and how they would or would not survive yeah. after the apocalypse. Yes. Right back into the Mad Max thing, huh? So um, I think we should start with Teddy, because he's Teddy. not family yet. Dum dum dum. I need to find like action music and we'll show like a picture of Teddy and like boom ba boom boom. Um Teddy would be okay. At least for a while. Yeah. But his downfall would be that he's nice to people. Yes. So like in that movie, it comes at night when the people show up and he's like, oh, I'm sympathetic to your situation, even though I have no idea whether or not you're telling the truth or whether, you know, you're crazy or something or, or pretending and all that stuff. So I think that would otherwise, but on the practical side, I think he would be just fine. Yeah. I think he would end up dying saving someone. Yeah. Or sacrificing himself so like Bob and the kids can get out somewhere. I guess. If they're still around, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Who's up next? Mort. Who, Mort? Yeah. Okay. Would Mort, like, pose as a dead body or something? Would he uh, know how to do makeup to make himself look like a corpse so that no one would care or something? I don't know. He'd need, he'd need street smarts. Like, he yeah, wouldn't he survive. Would, he would definitely be more of a, on the defensive than the offensive yeah. in terms of the apocalypse. Just right. trying to hide rather than trying to... More of to... a sneaky sneaky boy. Yeah. Yeah. Like in right. Zombieland, what, was it Bill Murray? Who, who was it that he Yeah, was Bill Murray to, yeah. pretended for a little bit to be a zombie man. Yeah, um, I think he would do that. Yeah. Or he would get bit first because he works with dead bodies and the zombies would come... Right. Then again, why do we make it a zombie apocalypse? I don't think we ever said that. No, it doesn't have to be a zombie a thing. Nope. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, now we're getting to the meat. Who's up next? Tina. Tina. Eh. I think, well, I mean, I don't she, know. Has, she has her Thunder Girls knowledge, so that's good. Yeah, but anytime she tries to do anything at all, she doesn't do it well. She drives well. Oh, no, no she, she doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> that's something she does. She drives a go-kart Very well. poorly. <laughs> She does drive a go-kart well. Okay, that's kind of a fun image. So she, like, finds a dilapidated go-kart yeah. and becomes, like, a, a, a gearhead like and out. keeps tuning it up all the time because oh, yeah. that's her way to survive is uh, that and maybe, like, a cricket back it. Cricket bat? Cricket back it. Cricket back it. <laughs> or something. Um, 
uh yeah i don't know but yeah i i see her more as like okay maybe she ends up as part of a group a, ri- a bandit party or something you know goes around like in the road um i feel like louise would do that too well louise would lead such yes. a a group yes. yeah so that's like a different a slightly different um take but yeah yeah i think that works perfect segue into louise well we just covered her didn't we sure i guess she, she she does just fine i think unless there's some like weird twist but i don't eh, that wouldn't be true to form I it think could she be would one of those situations the angle. where she like the way that she would die was that she thought she was sending like hmm, oh know. maybe her hubris gets in the way sure. like she's too confident in her abilities yes. so then she's not looking yes. and there's a coup or something yeah. <laughs> a mutiny um yeah yeah maybe in the food truck she tracks down the food truck and gets that running i just want to give everyone a vehicle sure <laughs> it is turning into a I mad think max Linda thing would, isn't it would have a giant truck though because you know how she gets after she okay oh uh, yeah right she goes crazy when she's driving a truck okay yeah linda i don't know i her singing would be her downfall yes. she'd have to give up singing or something like that she'd have or, to get serious or she has one room that she's super duper soundproofs and that's where she can sing she once a day all her porcelain babies in there yeah why not um and uh i mean gene uh, i guess he'd lose some weight maybe <laughs> you know and if he doesn't then that's maybe a problem like if he's always eating more food than everybody else i mean or he's just problem problem you know um, oh, he's going to go like Jabba the Hutt and just like never move again. No. He just gets so big that he's know what happened to Jabba the stuck Hutt to the, the ground. What did happen to Jabba the Hutt in the he end? He got strangled by a chain. Oh, I guess he did die in that scene. Yeah. Wow. All I, the way. I haven't watched that one in a long time. You should. There's a fun fact about apparently uh, the set, because they were in the desert somewhere where they shot that thing with the Sarlacc pit, right? Mm-hmm. And Jabba's little boat cruiser thing apparently so they blew it up you know a prop version um and i i don't think this is a joke but i'll have to double check but apparently there were like some people doing archaeology digs out in that desert decades later and they found wreckage for or debris from that explosion and they were like oh we found like something cool from some weird old civilization we don't know anything about but it was just from the star wars shoot that might be a joke that red letter media made but i have to look it up because that would be really fun if it was true um okay and bob how's bob do in the post-apocalypse i think he'd be too rude okay like he would all right is he that rude yeah he is yes he's very rude he's not he's rude sometimes when he's angry you don't think he's got a temper the apocalypse it depends Maybe, maybe all of a sudden people start appreciating his art of cooking and maybe whichever commune he's with, they're like, "Oh yeah, we like you a lot, cook, cookie." Becomes cookie from Atlantis. <laughs> oh, <laughs> whoops! Wasn't there a co- or was Cookie the doctor in Atlantis? I'm just thinking about Cookie from Matilda. I've uh, seen Atlantis, but that's all Atlantis. I can think about right now. Yeah, the Atlantis sequel was not very good. Nope. But you know, it was pretty oh, good. Straight to, straight to video, yeah. right? Cinderella three, a yeah. twist in time yeah, with the sister. <clears throat> pretty the good. Sister and the baker. Yeah, that it's pretty cute. good. <laughs> I like that one. Anyway, I think maybe that's it for post apocalypse, huh? Yeah. Well, how yeah. do you think you would do? Oh, oh, that's a very different. Eh. And um, I had a, I guess let's call him a friend. <laughs> oh boy. I had this friend who, uh, you know. We were in a, a certain place at some certain point in time, and we were talking about the end of the world stuff, and more like disaster than as compared to like prolonged, you know, apocalypse thing. Mm-hmm. But he was just like, "Oh, it's not a big deal at all when that goes down, because then it's very easy. You just have to decide how you want to die, right? And then sure. just do that." <laughs> sure. I was like, "Okay, I mean, that's." fair you know i i don't know that i would necessarily like be all gung-ho about it but i think apocalypse is is really makes mortality real where you realize yeah. that because now in the world you're like i'm probably never gonna die or i can what do, oh well, no i mean i don't feel you have that way. you have to go to work you have to you know pay bills you get to do xyz right. but after the, if, 
if something were to happen like the apocalypse, like that yeah, all cares? goes out of the yeah. out of you know out of the window, and then student what's loans the point? forgiven. Sure. <laughs> But then it's like, well, what do you do with the rest of your day? You just try not to die like we are, you were trying to do before the apocalypse without, but now the added, you know, stressors of work and money and all of that, right. or, 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 you know, paying bills becomes obsolete. So it's like, what? what? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It's true. Um, I think I would do okay. Um, I have enough street smarts that I could get the essentials of like i know i need this i know i'm gonna need a fire starter i know i'm gonna need i'm gonna i probably just go straight primal like weak afraid <laughs> get all of those things water purifying tablets uh, you know things that could fit in a backpack that i could have no matter what and then work my way back for, or like work my way with the things that i might need yeah you know you, grab as many external charges as they can but here's the thing and i think this was like a bill burr joke at some point and i'm not the biggest fan but he was talking about like the doomsday preppers and stuff and how he, he's kind of sympathetic to the whole thing like okay yeah being prepared and having supplies and stuff sure but also at a certain point you're just collecting stuff for the strongest guy on the block to come and take yeah like who you know like well unless, <laughs> unless you get them first no yeah but I don't know. I, 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 Would you, well, would you go offensive or defensive with your strategy for the apocalypse? I mean, I guess it depends on where I'm living. Here. I oh, mean, I. I mean, no, my current spot is in an apartment building. That's not a defensible spot. You know, that's not. Take over the magic castle. It has to be on a hill. Magic castle. And it's got to have a lot of water. And. Okay. But here's the thing. I mean, la anyway as soon as everything shuts down no water anything there's no more water that's it nobody has any more water the the thing to do would be to get out of california as quickly as possible or like super super northern california i guess but i agree yeah straight to canada Eh, no i guess i mean it'd be really cold though so well what do you do about all that put a jacket on says lady with no snow time is I that know. her yeah okay <laughs> i'm gonna move to toronto yeah mm-hmm. okay well keep us updated on that um there it is post-apocalypse hooray yeah i'm glad we talked about that i think about it often <laughs> i think about it more times than i think i should yeah <laughs> should we do laugh track yeah it's laugh I don't, track i don't know what it was wait till you hear the other episode's going up now. Wait till you hear the cool theme it has. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, okay, laugh track. Here we are. This is where we talk about how many times each of us laughed during our very first viewing of the episode, and specifically laughing at the episode and not other things, because mm-hmm. there are other things. And if I'm really feeling ambitious, maybe I can even edit in every single laugh each of us had. <laughs> During the episode, we'll see. So, <laughs> um, the number of times Tierra Shea laughed during the episode was seven. Okay. Fresh beef jerky. Oh, it's a little basket. <laughs> Last time was nine, it right? It was. Yeah. And the number of times that, uh, you laughed. that I laughed was four. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> for a total of 11 which is the exact same number of laughs we had last episode i hope i didn't count incorrectly but i'm trying to remember specific laugh moments and like who had what and i don't think i do i know there was a part where oh one of the things i laughed at was when bob was talking to guy and they were like going northeast along the ridge and he's like oh yeah that sounds right and cool and i was like oh that's funny because it is a through line with bob liking the outdoorsy stuff without being outdoorsy yes. you know he likes the vibe and the look and all that kind of thing i thought, I was, I thought that was funny i know that's why I'm i don't saying remember that he could have like basically like, remember into the mild where yeah he gets stuck in the yeah, store yeah, yeah. The, he likes the outdoors. He likes outdoorsy people. So why did they not give him the opportunity to be friends with these people? Because he can't have friends. Because even in the episodes where characters do make friends, they're not going to keep those friends. True. Except for goddamn Alex and Gene, who I do not, I do not understand. They're going to kiss. Why they're, he's the character they were like, oh, yeah, I got to keep him around. Well, who does the voice of him? 
It's fucking Silicon Valley man. What's his well, name? That's why. The skinny man. Sure. But who cares? What? They've had huge, huge celebrities. Even Jenny Slate. Like, why not bring those? <laughs> yeah, and I mean, yeah, Jenny. Her Tammy has been a recurring character, but she's fallen away mm-hmm. for the most part. I don't know. I, yeah. So, but no, they will not let Bob make friends ever. They what? Even the cooks, the the chefs episode where chef, Bob makes all his cool chef friends, and they're the only people in his life circle who appreciate what he does and his talent <laughs> and ability. And he bails. Well, it's, yeah, he, he bails. He can't, hang, he can't take it. You could very easily just say, look, once a week I can come out with you guys, and that's it, you know? Or, like, you guys can come over here once a week because then he doesn't have to go anywhere. He can cook them nice burgers. The other people can use the kitchen. Who fucking cares, he's you know? He's friends with Skip Marooch. Yeah, but he only, he's only in, what, two episodes? He mm-hmm. comes back for the one episode. He's like, remember how I like your food? Well, that's why I'm saying Bob wouldn't last long in the apocalypse because he's not good at maintaining relationships. <laughs> or past that section. <laughs> Is it better or worse to have relationships in the apoc- post-apocalypse? Um, better because... You, Is it? Yeah. Mm, they can betray you. They can drag you it, down, slow you down, you get can, you into trouble. Or they could also help you remember out of trouble. Remember it comes at night... No. Yeah, but it depends on the situation, you know? Maybe sure. the loner. Maybe the, apoc- the whole apocalypse depends on situation. Maybe the Mad Max type is better, you know? I don't know. By the way. Oof. Oh, no, I, I don't want it. It's fine. Good. I'll talk about it soon. Um, <laughs> okay, that's whatever that section was. Laugh track. <laughs> I'm trying to, well, when did um, I laugh? I have absolutely no memory of when you laughed. Um, let Probably me think. Probably like when he rubbed the cheese on the... I th- maybe the, the cheese, rock. and I think maybe I think you about... laughed at some of the glasses stuff, I guess. Yeah, because I did maybe. that. Yeah, I think maybe that's why I laughed, because I did, I always bring snacks on hikes, and I, I'm one to have, like, Skittles in my pocket or, or ah. something, things like that. Just like Dean, probably not ch- uh, cheese and crackers, right? but definitely snacks in my backpack that there maybe is like a 90% chance I don't even eat, but it, knowing that it's there makes me feel good. Right. And then also I was a cereal trier of on of glasses that don't belong to me. Oh. So grabbing my sister's, grabbing my mom's glasses and putting them on my face and then knowing that it's going to hurt my eyes, but doing it anyway. Yeah. Was my thing. Like I would even lie to the optometrist and be like, I can't see over mm, there yeah. in the hopes to get round glasses like Harry Potter oh and sure the optometrist dr smart which is an awesome name right it is a good name um was kind of just like hey tiersha i know that you're lying but we'll oh. give you a low glasses if you right want them. Re- and then re- i never never wore them wow but now that's, i wear glasses <laughs> it's full circle just not now <laughs> no no i know i i need them to see far 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 away ah uh, okay Gotcha. I know one of my predictions about the season is, okay, if this is the last one, they're going to try to, like, really wrap things up and really tighten things, you know, like, and and really do some cool character work and Mm -hmm. wind things down. And, I mean, this episode, it doesn't necessarily negate that possibility, but it's certainly not in favor of that theory because this is just what they've been doing for the last three or four years, which Mm is nothing. um, (laughs) Wouldn't it have been interesting if, while Louise was trying on either of their glasses, she actually realized that she could see better wearing one of them. Oh, that could have been in it because there's no way Louise would want to wear glasses. Exactly. So it could be a whole like dentist thing of like, yeah, like, oh no, I'm not going to mm-hmm. do this. And, and you're not getting contact because you're a child. And yep. like, yeah, it could have been an arc, but that would have been a main story, right? That would have, that would have taken up. I think there's enough meat there that would have taken up. <laughs> That's yeah. a double patty there. Um, and uh oh i this is kind of interesting yesterday i was looking up because you know how rotten tomatoes for tv shows for each season they have a different like consensus for critics and regular people Mm -hmm. for bob's burgers only i think the first five or six seasons actually have numbers for either um and they're all really positive like i think for critics it's like 90 or higher for like all the first five seasons which is crazy i guess it kind of makes sense i don't know how many people were actually watching it (laughs) um and uh and almost exactly the same for the audience scores and then after that nothing like for all of those seasons and i don't know if like do like professional critics stop watching a show like this after so long or is it specifically just the show that they just don't care about anymore or what 
what happened or they just not have enough like it's, it's very interesting i need to do some digging i don't know where i could find information we'll on put that. a pin in that we'll come um but it but it also leaves us in the weeds it leaves us to judge those seasons on our own you well, know there is no is there is no reference point and i think that's interesting at, and at the same time i know what i think of all those seasons <laughs> i i know my consensus on yeah. what those seasons were like and what those episodes were like and well, it's kind of like the foodie moody and the coasters thing where it's like you could have a review of something and that could just you know skew the way someone's going to think about it rather than them experience it themselves so like let the people well no well, but no but well and here's the thing and i'm not saying that i want those opinions to affect my own i mean sure that happens to some extent i guess on some level even if you don't like you know critic reviews and stuff but i don't feel that way about especially the scenes they already did review because like i have my opinion mm -hmm. and it's not that i want them to change it or that they will but i like knowing what other people like about something that I might not have liked or something that I did like, you know, just having a point of reference and that perspective and well, lots of different viewpoints. Well, then listen to me and I'll tell you. Well, <laughs> we'll have to do, wow, I wonder if we could do whole season reviews of those seasons to fill in the gaps <laughs> on, on the thermometer. We Maybe. could We could fix it. You probably have to set up um, an account, huh? That's a whole other thing. Yeah, we can we can do that too. <laughs> but even just talking about it, like we could, you know, be like, today we're gonna decide how this season was, <laughs> or something. But um, anyway, long story short, yeah, this episode, I don't know, it seems like more of the same of what they've been doing for the last few years, and that doesn't give me a whole lot of confidence. And um, yeah, I don't know. I'm sure some good stuff will really poke through, and you know, we'll we'll get some interesting stories possibly but so far i'm i'm forgetting it and i'm immediately nostalgic for the episodes i do like from all the other seasons you know yeah and i don't want to do that i want to i want to like a lot of the new stuff you know and i want them to wow me and yeah there's a movie coming up they gotta they gotta get the fucking train well, moving done, yeah. right they want people excited about this so let's let's see it give us the good stuff what are your final thoughts on the episode? Um, I liked it. I think that, um, like I said, it could have been very dangerous. I think they could have got away with maybe, maybe this could be a section that we call it like episode re rewrite. Oh, <laughs> nitpicks um, galore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it could have been something where they, the only mushroom forager that they interact with was the person from the, um, what's it called? The farmer's market. Uh -huh. And it could have done it where Bob and Jean maybe get into an argument or like have a you know differing you know de decisions on direction things like that and like gene is the one who finds the mushrooms yeah and ha like has to bring them back or decide to like not tell him about it or whatever yeah versus this possible potentially dangerous situation or they could have done it where that the the chick was not you know double crossing them and actually help them and she gets some of the mushrooms, and then the the two guys comedically don't get anything, hmm. or they like have they're like here here's some wrapped up in a napkin, and then later on it's not right. Is it's something it else? A double cross, triple cross, triple thing. cross, yeah, or something. I th that truck was really stupid, of just running it over. Oh yeah, <laughs> they lost a basket. The they lost yeah. a basket. They lost those mushrooms. Um, do you think they're ever going to go back to look for more? Mm -hmm that we'll see mm -hmm. no. no i mean <laughs> as character um no i don't think so i especially because it's not like bob was gonna make the special mushroom burger like an all the time thing it's just gonna be another special you know for a day or two so yeah. i don't i don't think so yeah probably not well i think i feel like the next episode is going to be female girls let the female girls... focus yeah, yeah for sure okay well we'll see can't wait to find out. <laughs> we only have to wait seven more days or six more days. Six more days. Okay. Pretty exciting. I feel pretty wrapped up. Great. It's wrapped up. Well, this was fun. For an extra charge. Fungus. So fungus. With a fun guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, <laughs> be sure to email us at insertburgerpun at gmail.com. Like and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. I think mm. we have a Reddit as well. Do that. What? No. No, we don't. 
Well, we use that to interact with other Bob's Burgers fans uh. and really get into the community. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's a fun group of people out there. If you know anything about fungus or mushroom foraging, go ahead and send us that information uh, too. Or don't. It's all right. I like it. Specifically about you don't fungus. Have to read it. We don't I'll have read to. It. Yeah, we don't have to talk about that. Um, cool. Yeah, thanks for joining us. We'll be back soon. We'll uh, try to put the episode up as fast as possible. What's your catchphrase? Stay out of my room. Stay out of my room. Don't touch my phone, guys. Done. Let us be now!